Exploring the tent realm continues. Let's go. The comic begins with the fact that we see again the prison of the gods and the unknown man at the candle playing the game. The Midgard space, in the spaceship of the Guardians of the Galaxy Breakthrough, they were attacked by the Warpjackers. Drax, Star-Lord, Groot, Rocket and Angela fight Warpjackers. Angela is admiring something. Everyone hears the thunderstorms and remains in shock because all this is happening in the middle of the warp space. Angela says it's like a voice in her head. Old Loki watches the events and says that the door in the tenth dimension has opened and she leads home. The thunderstorm leads Angela and she drops the guardians. Old Loki accelerated the reunion of sister and brother and made it much more interesting. Meanwhile, in the tenth realm, Thor admires its beauty. Thor tells Loki that they need to introduce themselves and Loki tells them that they have to find their sister. The angels ask which kingdom they come from, Thor answers that they are from a kingdom called Asgard. The angels take this aggressively and tell them to kill the two of them by attacking them. Loki screams at Thor that, he said it, while Thor remains optimistic. Loki tells Toothnasher and Toothgrinder to pave the way. The angels tell everyone to warn the queen. Loki says it's his signal and he needs to go somewhere else. The angels have a common gathering, and the Queen of Angels says that the Kingdom of Midgard is already within reach. The messenger bird tells the Queen everything she has seen and in return receives a blood onyx. The Queen tells her to hand it over to the arsenal so that they prepare two dreadnoughts and adds that the world is ruled by money. Thor doesn't realize where his sister is and that his patience is not immeasurable. And then he notices that Loki has escaped. There's something shooting in the back of the Thor. Two evil machines appear. Thor didn't want a battle, but his patience came to an end. Thor throws his hammer and blows up one of the cars. The angels thought he was unarmed, but that was not the case. Thor calls his Mjolnir back to him by breaking the second machine. The queen tells them to start Destroyer to kill one. And then suddenly there's a blade in her throat. Here is Loki appears. She finds out that he is not an Asgard but an ice giant and that she can offer him an exchange. The queen offers his safety in exchange for his. She adds that they understand the value of mutual benefit and Loki agrees. Thor tells everybody that he didn't come here for bloodshed, and he's wondering what Asgard could have done so badly. One of the angels answered that he should ask his father. And then suddenly the queen arrives, wingless one, the strongest of all. She advises the Thor to pray to the gods whom the son of evil prays.